Hi there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. This is the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza and I'm joined today by Assembly Member Anthony Portentino. Always good to have you here. Thanks, Jaime. Uh, of course, we're always talking about legislative issues on, on this program, but we want to start off by talking about your background a little bit. And I don't know if people know this, but you used to be an art director. You were involved in entertainment, which really is the backbone uh, of California's economy in, in many ways. And, uh, and yet it is a very important issue when it comes to legislative processing. So we're going to tie it in together and take it from there. Absolutely. Well, it's what brought me to California from New Jersey is to work in the entertainment industry. And my wife currently works for Warner Brothers in the consumer product side. So we're a family that understands uh, the importance of this industry to the California economy. And as a legislator, I've tried to uh, be somebody that the entertainment industry could talk to about its issues. And certainly, stemming the tide of runaway production is very important. I was recently appointed to the California Film Commission where its mission is to try to keep productions in California. Back in 2009, the legislature passed uh, $500 million of tax incentives to keep the entertainment industry to help keep production in California, which are middle class jobs with health care, which are very important to the California economy. Well, we are going to be holding a series of hearings on that entertainment tax credit to see how effective it is. So the taxpayer understands that it was an investment, not just an expenditure. And the estimates are coming back that the, the multiplier effect is in the it, over a billion dollars, that it helped the California economy uh, first by keeping principal photography days here and keeping those working men and women employed. But secondly, it's not just the production, it's the caterer. It's the uh, material manufacturer, it's the special effects house, it's, it's a whole host of, ta of tangentially related industries that help make a TV show or a movie. So uh, the California Film Commission, uh, labor representatives, um, Screen Actors Guild, a number of folks who are touched by production are going to be reporting to the legislature how effective this is. You know, I was just talking to some friends just the other day and we were talking about how uh, one movie company is going to be focusing, or the theme of the movie is here in California, but they're going to be filming the whole thing in another state. Right. Uh, that's got to be very disturbing. Absolutely. I mean, if we're not going to make it worth people uh, for our people to stay here, right. where are people going to go? Are we going to just lose the industry? Right, and unfortunately, we've been losing too much of it over the last decade. And what's important about the tax incentives that the state enacted is there's accountability measures. There's a, it's, some incentives are controversial because we don't know who gets them. We don't know if it had the intended purpose. There's a lot of discussion about some of the decisions that are made by the legislature in the middle of the night. This isn't one of those. This is a well-crafted uh, incentive where you actually have to make the production you actually have to show the jobs in order to qualify. So it has the accountability measures, which is why in all of the incentives that the state has given out, this is the one where there's total support for from all sides of the spectrum. Well, let me ask you this, uh, because the union is a really big critical part of this. And a lot of companies say, if I can go to British Columbia, I don't have to pay certain you know, rates to, to my workers, and so I'm going to move out of California. Is this all part of trying to counteract Actually, that's that not, that's Is not, that not true? that's not the issue in this particular case. Okay. This isn't a, a labor issue per se. What this is, is keeping those middle class jobs in California um, and creating the incentive for the decision makers to know that it's cost effective from a tax benefit perspective to be here. Because when they crunch the numbers for right. Canada, when they crunch the numbers for New York, the, the margins are so small that the tax incentive makes a difference. So they need to have the, the budgetary flexibility to see that California makes sense. You gotta keep the jobs here. Absolutely. All right, Assembly Members Anthony Portentino, thank you so much and thank you at home for watching Time Warner Cable's local edition, The Sacramento Report. And don't forget, you can watch this interview as well as others by going to My Government On Demand and you'll find that on Channel One.